We can make our own dry point needle by attaching a T-pin to a chopstick or the eraser end of a pencil. About a quarter inch or less of the pin should hang off the edge. Tape behind the T-pin head to make a stopper. It will help secure the pin while using it to draw an image on the plate. Thin plastic, like the kind used for food containers, can be used as a plate. Cut the edges straight with scissors or a ruler and a blade. Make sure the plate width will fit in your press. Leave a little space on either side when making your plates. This pasta maker press is five and a half inches wide, so the maximum plate width is five inches. Use a razor blade to remove the labels from the plastic container if needed. Alcohol could also be used to remove any adhesive residue. Trim the corners of the plate round for safety. When preparing a sketch, keep in mind that the image on the plate will be reversed when printed. Place the sketch under the plate and tape it in place on the top and bottom of the plate. Keep the sides open. A printed photographic image could also be used instead of a drawn sketch. If the tape covers any of the design, just move the tape around to another position. Keep the sides open so you can slide a darker piece of paper in and out. Use the T-pin tool to trace and draw the design on the plate. Check your progress by sliding the darker paper under the plate. Apply pressure while drawing the image on the plate. An awl or a similar tool could also be used if available. Lines that are inscribed deeper will come out as darker in the final result. Use any kind of drawing paper. Cut the paper larger than the image size, but smaller than the width of the press. Length is not as important. Prepare a plastic folder. Fold a sheet of newsprint in half. The size of the folded newsprint should be larger than the printing paper. Submerge a sheet of paper in water and then place it on the newsprint. Put a dry sheet of paper on top. Put another wet piece on top of that. Again, place a dry sheet of paper on top. Continue alternating wet and dry paper for the entire stack you'll be printing. This way, they'll be appropriately dampened without being too wet. Fold the newsprint and put your stack of paper in a plastic folder. Use a heavy book to distribute even weight across the paper. Leave it like this for at least 10 minutes. Check the width of the pasta maker. Fold the craft felt in half and cut it half an inch smaller than the width of the pasta maker. This pasta maker is five and a half inches wide, so we'll cut the felt five inches wide. 
Again, the length is less important, but should cover the length of the plate. Use duct tape to tape both sheets of craft felt together. The tape must be folded back onto itself to make a very thin edge, so leave some room. This set of felt will be used for printing. The taped edge is important as it lets the felt easily slide into the press keeping the plate and paper straight. Clamp down the pasta maker on a sturdy table. Set the pressure as desired. You may need to experiment with your pasta maker to find where you get the best results. Pressure level one is used in this video. A wiping block will be used during the inking process. You can make your own or use any block that has a flat bottom. To make your own, cut a sheet of cardboard into smaller pieces that can fit comfortably in your hand. Any thick boards can be used. The block we're making here is about two by three inches and stacked about three quarters of an inch tall. Tape the cardboard stack together to make your wiping block. Next, roll a strip of tape and place it on the inking surface to secure the plate while inking. Use a stiff paintbrush to apply the ink onto the plate. Wrap the wiping block with four to five sheets of phone book pages or newsprint. Applying pressure, wipe the ink. You'll need to keep changing to a clean phone book or newsprint sheet as it picks up the ink. Move the wiping block around in multiple directions. It'll take a few passes. You can stop when the image starts to show up neatly on the plate. Clean the ink from the inking surface to avoid making a bigger mess. Clean the edges of the plate with a cloth or a paper towel. Just use your hands for any final touch-ups. You can remove any remaining excess ink more delicately with your fingers. Open up the felt you prepared. An extra sheet of craft felt can be used if the pasta maker pressure is not tight enough. Put down a clean sheet of newsprint first. And then the dampened paper on top. Put the inked side of the plate facing down. Place another clean sheet of newsprint before closing the set of felt. 
hold the felt closed tight while sliding it down into the pasta maker. Once the felt set is engaged, run the press. You'll feel the tightness while turning the handle. Check the print and revise the plate, inking, or press settings if needed. 